The Grand Canyon and Yellowstone aren't the only national parks in America, and one man is on a mission to visit each and every one. In fact, that has brought him to the Stonewall National Monument in Greenwich Village, and that's where our Mac King is right now. Hello, Mac. Yeah, Steve Derry, the National Park Service celebrated its 100th birthday in August. Many have done a variety of things to mark that centennial, but perhaps none as thorough or on as tight of a budget as this young man from Nebraska. I put on 10,000 miles in just my first six months. It's a 37-month trip, and I'm estimating it'll be about 125,000 miles total. 30-year-old Micah Myers has lived in a white windowless cargo van since April. There's no heating or air conditioning in there, so waking up in a pool of sweat or shivering in the morning. Micah committed to three years of this suffering, funded by his personal savings account. So it's a lot of peanut butter sandwiches and not spending money. So that he might visit all 413 sites in the U.S. National Park System. As a 30-year-old, I'm half the age of the average National Park Service visitor, so I'm able to help encourage other millennials to get out and experience our country. Micah traces the origins of this journey back 11 years to the death of his father. Micah's dad loved to road trip, and his son set out on his first solo drive 10 days after his father's passing. Ever since then, I've done one road trip annually to honor that experience. But on his 30th birthday, now an experienced traveler, Micah sought a challenge and committed to what he describes as something more epic. He started this drive in the upper Midwest, worked his way east to Maine, and now south down the eastern seaboard. As an openly gay man, a stop at the Stonewall Inn here in New York Monday bore some added importance over the average park on Micah's journey. The LGBT community is one that is severely underserved in the park system, so I'm hoping to encourage other LGBT people to get out and experience these park sites and help break some stereotypes. It's the first park to tell the LGBT civil rights story in the National Park Service. Park Superintendent Alan Daly served the Park Service for a lot of years and visited many of its sites. But after meeting Micah, who, if successful, will become the youngest person to see all 413 park locations and the first to do so on one continuous trip, Alan admitted this journey made living in a van eating only peanut butter sandwiches for three years sound worthwhile. I'm a little jealous, yeah. Once he wraps up the continental U.S., Micah does plan to hit Hawaii, Alaska, and all the U.S. territories. He obviously can't drive a van to Guam, so he's hoping that an airline or a generous benefactor who's following his journey will help him pay for those plane tickets. Live in the West Village, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Yeah, Steve York, after all that solitude, it must be kind of fun for him to be in New York City. That's yeah. a decent break from that, too. Cool. Thanks, Matt.